show you my outboard. What does it look like? Because many of you probably don't even know what is an outboard. Outboard is an outboard motor, meaning it's a, a motor that can push the boat forward. It's basically an engine. Um, here is the uh, another look of it. So you know you connected it to the gas tank, and then it will run. So um, my new invention is this um, speed controller, and uh, I'm gonna show you uh, this thing in a second, which is this one. So basically, this uh, outboard. Um, I'm gonna show you. This is this is what it looks like. So. This is uh, the outboard. This is the tiller handle. The way you control the outboard speed to go, uh, the boat motor to go faster, is you turn this tiller handle knob uh, counterclockwise. It will go fast. And the mechanic of it is um, by turning counterclockwise. There is a cable uh, underneath this aluminum tiller handle that link to there is a post right here and then that um, is hooked to this aluminum rod and that aluminum rod is uh, hooked to here that's the arm that control the speed that controls how much air feeds into the uh, uh, carburetor so here is a better look of it so there is the tiller handle and link to into here, link to this post. And this rod is actually inserted into this set screw. And then uh, it, when you turn counterclockwise, this actually pulls, pulls this aluminum rod forward. So this arm will go forward from 180 degrees to 270 degrees so instead of going this way once this rod is pulled forward this arm is going to go this way instead of vertical it's going to go horizontal and um, that's what i meant 270 degrees from 180 degrees move to 270 degrees because um, this is 180 degrees. This is 90 degrees. This is zero degrees. So zero going counter, going clockwise. There's a 90. There's a 180, and there's a 270, and then there's a 360. So this arm actually moved from here to here. So um, my invention is, um, as you can probably see in my previous video, I built a two uh, metal mount using roof. Uh, rack. So uh, in this uh, video, I'm going to show you the schematic um, of all the wirings and of all the things that um, that um, replace this original uh, aluminum uh, steel rod. With let's go to my Instagram and uh, where is my Instagram? Here we go. Okay, Instagram. Get to the Instagram. Okay, so Instagram. Instagram. And then NJ Fishing 11. So that's my Instagram account. There we go. So we go there. And so I'm using Quick Player. And I don't know why this thing is not uh, disappearing. But anyway, so this is the. Uh, the picture I want to show you basically this black box is what you saw earlier which is the ignition coil and here as you can see this link arm is over um, where is it this link arm is actually over here okay it's actually kind of blocked by my signal wire of this uh, um, digital motor or the HB servo motor you know so and this link arm is the choke you know so I already removed this link arm which is the link arm that uh, hooked to this set hook and then uh, connected it to this throttle arm right here throttle arm is here I don't know if you can see it this is the throttle arm so there's a hole here 
that this original uh, aluminum rod actually hook into this thing here. So um, what I did was in my previous video, I not only mounted this servo motor on top of the ignition coil, but also I found a piece of aluminum rod from the Chinese takeout uh, box and it's I cut to length so it's perfect so now when this shaft turn from this uh, 180 180 degrees this is 0 degrees this is 90 degrees this is 270 so 0 90 180 to 270 to 360 so when the when this arm is pushed this Chinese takeout aluminum rod is hooked to here and hooked to here it's gonna push this throttle arm from 90 from 180 degrees to 270 degrees and then this motor will go fast so let me uh, go out to the picture again to show you what I meant so right now that servo motor is mounted on top of this ignition coil and these two are the two screws that I unscrewed and I uh, install a metal roof uh, surplus uh, when when they uh, did my roof the edge um, so I uh, cut two pieces of metal and then mounted it here so I can mount so I can lock my um, DC servo motor and this is the arm the throttle arm and this is the 180 degrees when this original rod that's linked to this tiller handle when you turn counterclockwise it will pull this rod uh, pull this arm forward to t t so instead of vertical it's going to turn to horizontal so instead of using this rod I actually disconnected it here because it's just a hook and uh, there's a hole so I just pull this hook uh, steel rod out of there and put place it outside in but still inside the uh, outboard so that, that um, um, I actually have the Chinese takeout aluminum rod that I cut to lens so one end I uh, poked it in here hooked it into here the other end hooked it into that um, um, shaft of the DC motor that I just show you before in my Instagram which is this guy here so one end I uh, hooked it into here as you can see in my previous video it actually popped so what I'm going to show you next is I'm going to show you this skid Matic in my Instagram which is this guy here so this is the picture I'm going to show you where um, starts with this this is a servo motor mounted on top of that and the servo motor is controlled by this Arduino board and Arduino board already pre-programmed with the knob codes compiled and uploaded into this board so once this board is powered by this plug that connected it to the uh, regulator the step down regulator which takes in the 12 volts battery power and the battery I'm using is expert power battery 7 amp hour takes in the 12 volts and step it down from voltage of 12 volts down to 9 volts to power this Arduino board. Uh, keep in mind, I'm not using this USB port because I don't want to bring my laptop. All I want is I have the 12 volts battery in my boat already so I can just plug this in. And you don't need to go out and buy this port, by the way, this, this terminal. This terminal is actually, you can find this adapter, AC to DC um, adapter, power adapter from your um, you know retired GPS uh, unit or um, your cordless phone or your uh, uh, retired router so you uh, and retired uh, whatever so you probably already have something lying around in your house uh, without you knowing that you already have this you just cut it in half and just take the front portion of this and stick it into this Arduino board power port it's gonna work so that's the 9 volts and then um, the 9 volts um, th so the Arduino board actually control the uh, DC motor and the DC motor is actually control 
through the Arduino board by this analog um, potentiometer. It's 10,000 uh, ohm. And there are three uh, pins here. The top pin, which I label in color red, you connect that to the five volts on the Arduino board. And the green wire, the middle pin, uh, you connect that to the analog pin number zero. Because uh, uh, pin, digital pin number nine for the digital uh, yellow wire for the servo motor is actually um, already programmed for the knob. So if you want to use other ports, you have to change the coding in the knob. And I don't need to change it. I just want to use it. So, you know, and the bottom one is the, is the uh, ground. So that uh, connect to the ground here, you know. Um, and then um, this servo motor, when it came, it has this curly uh, three wires and a plug. And I'm not using this plug, so I just cut this these three wires in half and the yellow wire I connected it to the nine digital pin nine the black wire I connected it to this uh, second step down uh, voltage regulator the part number is LM2596 and then uh, or the, the this this voltage step down converter is LM2596 I actually bought two of them so it takes in the 12 volts, but this time I actually have, it, this thing has a dial. So you can check my other video, how I did, uh, how I uh, was able to uh, uh, change this uh, from a from step down to six volts. So you can turn this dial so that this uh, voltage um, reducer or um, converter can reduce it to something like a three volts, from 12 volts to three volts, or 12 volts to 10 volts. You know, it's all it's 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 all. You can easily adjust these two uh, um, voltage converter and convert it. Anyway, so um, the the reason I want to extend this so that um, I can have the motor mounted it inside the outboard, but then this Arduino board and this potentiometer. I want them to be close to me when I'm driving the boat. So I actually have the lines extended all the way from the back where the motor is um, to the front or the center of the boat where I'm sitting down with the steering wheel. And that's uh, what this is. So pretty uh, happy about this uh, thing that I remember, which is the aluminum rod that I, that I, that's linking between the outboard uh, speed throttle arm and the servo motor shaft. It's a Chinese takeout paper box because, you know, so otherwise I don't, I don't, um, I have to find something else. But, you know, because I didn't, uh, because I remembered it, I recycled this and um, that's, it, it's actually a very good thing because look, let me show you something here. Um, so as you can see, the original uh, aluminum rod is this one which is much thicker than the um, Chinese takeout rod um, and uh, the Chinese takeout rod is actually uh, perfect it's perfect in size let me go back to my Instagram to show you that um, so this is the one so you can see uh, oops this picture doesn't have it sorry um, it's here this one has it it's right here you know I know the picture is kind of small let me see if I can uh, uh, zoom this a little bit yeah see that's bigger so let's see if I can zoom that in again yeah so here you can see that link rod. That link rod is a uh, Chinese takeout rod, which is much thinner than the original link arm that's here. You know, so it's it's perfect. So anyway, this is the schematic uh, uh, that I want to show you, which is the analog and so forth, and how the two regulators. So now I'm going to show you the parts, how much I spent on on this um, um, this. Uh, Arduino speed controller for outboard. 
So the first one is the Chinese take out aluminum link rod, which is free. Um, and the second one is the adapter uh, port to power the Arduino. That's also free because you can find uh, you can find it on your house, uh, you know, callers, phone, uh, router, or old um, uh, boombox, music box. You know, that's a, that's a, that's a 12, uh, 110 volts or 20 volts to um, AC to DC adapter. And then the next thing I spent, this is the most expensive part of all, which is the $20 high tech 485 HP servo motor. You can probably find it on eBay for cheaper than that, um, but I'm just giving you an, uh, a, 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 a you know, prevailing price. Arjuno Uno board, you can probably find it for four bucks or even three on AliExpress.com or eBay. Um, you know, shipped from China. Amazon probably going to be going to cost you around ten dollars. And you need to buy some jump wires. You know, go on Amazon. You can probably find it for six dollars. But if you go on AliExpress or eBay, you can probably find it cheaper. And then um, you need two step down regulators LR two five nine six. They're about ten dollars for two of them. So it's you know pretty inexpensive. And then the 10 ohm potentiometer, you know, five or six dollars, something like that. You only need one. And the 12 volts battery is 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 free, or I already have it. And you do need a solder pin, which is um, you know twenty dollars. So solder pin, uh, twenty dollars. And the solder, um, what do you, um, the the solder, which is twelve dollars. You want the thin one. Um, and I um, have this lab free solder. Um, the 0.6 mm millimeter uh, diameter. So, you know, that's all I spend. And uh, well, even though it's 84 bucks, um, you know, but it's really um, well worth it. You know why? Because $32 is something that you can use to uh, do the other project. And the true cost is actually. Um, 20, 30, 36, 46, 52. But like I said before, these things probably cost you way less because the servo motor may be 15 bucks, our Juno board, four bucks, you're looking at $20, and the jump wires may be three bucks or four bucks, and AliExpress are 23 bucks, and the two step down regulators may be six bucks instead of 10. You know, so you're looking at 26 plus the potentiometer, maybe, you know, I don't know, two, three bucks, you know, so uh, overall, you know, sort of pen probably, I don't know, on AliExpress, probably very cheap, but, you know, I don't know, 10 bucks, something like that, solder, uh, the thin solder, maybe another three. So, you know, instead of $50, you can probably cut this price to $30, and then you have a speed controller. You know, I mean, the commercial one like Strike um, um, Troll Master or the uh, Control King, those are a cost like 400 bucks or easy or a cup of a, a few hundred dollars. But now you actually, you know, I made it for less than $50. I'm sure you can do so too and make an even better one. Okay, so that is the schematic I wanted to 